Welcome back, my dear student. So, I have decided to add this project for everybody to contribute on GitHub. Now, here's the trick. You need to send me your username. Now, I sent an announcement that you can look for in the announcement tab, which asks for your username. So, if you put your username in the announcement tab, I can grab your username and add you as a collaborator in the project in GitHub. So, that way we can all make this project a lot better. I'm also going to give you, uh, show you in this in this lecture how to accept the invitation and how to start pulling requests so that way you can contribute to the project and make it better. Now, if you already know this stuff, don't worry about it. Just skip this lecture, go to the next one, and or just go on GitHub and start contr contributing to this course, okay, to this project. So, let's start. First of all, once I get your username, if by the way, if you can't find the announcement tab, you can send me a private message and I will add your name. I will add you to the team. Okay? So you will get an email like this. It says GitHub. You just click invitation, accept invitation, and all of a sudden you have this project here. Now, what you're going to do here is super simple. You're going to fork this. They probably can do it for you automatically, but I haven't checked. But once you have it forked, now you have it in your own space. Okay? All you have to do now is clone this to your folder, whatever folder uh, you're going to be working on. So if you are working in Homestead, you, you, know, you, you clone it there. Or if you're working in XAMPP, you clone it there, just like you, clone, just like you have your own project. So you need a server to be running this. If you're going to be doing com commits, I suggest for you to have a, a good working project in your development side, so that way you know when you know if you if we if we have a bug, you can say, oh, we have a bug here. Let me send uh, a request for that. But anyway, let me go and open my terminal real quick. I'll show you. I'm already in the in a in a folder called called Laravel projects, which is I'm basically I'm using this as an example. Okay, so here you will go and clone this. Okay. Once you clone it, well, you have to type in your your credentials, right? So it's cloning it. There we go. Now, if you put it, if you type it ls, you can see that it's there. Let's get in there. Now, if we type in git status, of course, we don't have anything to commit at this time. So I'm gonna grab brackets real quick just a, a simple editor I'm gonna make a change here let me grab it just put that project here inside brackets in, I, I did it outside the monitor here in my other monitor okay so we have this project here and I'm going to make some type of oops I think this is a let me see this this might be okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this just to show you I'm gonna save it then come back here and I'm gonna say get status again and you're gonna see that we modify that file basically we deleted it okay so I'm gonna add that file you can add everything with a dot or you can just if you know the file name and you can just add it of course we you we already went to the commit uh, section right we already did this but anyway let's just say Edwin um, remove this or something like that or you can say I removed routes this is not an example guys so one file change so now once you do this we want to push it in right get push the origin which is this project right to the master branch now it's gonna ask for our credentials again. There we go. And that's being pushed. Now I want you to pay attention here. If I refresh here, I'm in this in my forked. Okay. When I fork this, I'm in my space. I'm, I'm not in the coding faculty space. This is not committing. This is not sending anything to my master branch, my original branch. This is sending something to your branch, to your space. It doesn't affect the original one until I accept your request. So if you can see here, you can see 
that you have this. I removed routes. Okay. Now in my side, I would get, I would see your commit. Okay. But now what you do is you have that. Okay. Now what you want to do is you make a pull request. And that, then it's going to show you what you did. It's going to, it's going to show me what you did and show everybody that's watching this. But that you removed and you added something, right? Basically a space or something there. Now you, when you create this pull request, you come here and you say, I remove routes or, you know, you put a description. If you want to leave a comment, you can do that. And you say pull request. Okay. So now that's going to send the request. And if I accept the request, then we can merge. Okay. Your code. We can merge your code, whatever you, and this is the according faculty. You see that your commit is not even here. Once I merge yours, we will be able to have that code here. Okay. So let's come back here. Let's go to this is the private one. You okay. Right here. So once I approve this, this your space is gonna merge with or whatever change you did here with the original one that I have. That way we can make the project better. I hope this was clear to you, okay? If it's not, just practice a little bit. But I want you to contribute and I want you to actually learn more. So that's why I created this. Anyway, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next lectures. Take care.